Hello. I'm going to give you a sneak peek of some of the things that your child will be learning this year in kindergarten. It's going to be a very important but also very fun year of learning for them. So here is this year's subjects. One of the most important things that we're going to be doing this year in the area of language arts is building their foundation for reading so that by the time they leave kindergarten, they will be on their way to being strong readers. And this will include uh, developing their phonics and word recognition. We will learn all letters and letter sounds. They will begin to apply those skills to be able to read words and texts. Um, learning their sight words will be very important. Those are words that they can recognize uh, without sounding them out quickly. Um, so those are kind of the big topics for language arts. We will also be identifying key ideas and details, uh, looking at print concepts and phon phonological awareness, and then reading fluently. So all with the goal of developing them into strong readers when they get to first grade. Uh, for writing, we will be guiding them through their journey as writers. For many of them, it'll be their first experience as writers. So they will learn how to express themselves with drawing, labeling, and then eventually adding words and sentences in different genres of writing. So including narrative writing, telling stories, informational writing, so teaching books, and then opinion writing as well. They will also uh, uh, learn how to present their uh, writing and their knowledge and ideas. We will uh, work on comprehension and collaboration when writing, uh, conventions, so things like spaces, periods, punctuation, and lastly, vocabulary acquisition and use in writing. Uh, in math, we will be uh, learning about some big topics, including counting and cardinality, operations and algebraic thinking, which will include basic addition and subtraction, measurement and data, numbers and operations in base 10, so being able to really have a good, strong number sense and understand place value, and then geometry, including uh, two-dimensional and three-dimensional shapes. For social studies, some of the big topics we will cover include good citizenship, national and state symbols, community members, comparing and contrasting the location of people and places and environments, and then putting events in order. In science, we will have units on characteristics of land, attributes and behaviors of plants and animals, properties of materials, and the impact of weather. Uh, your child will have a Chromebook that they will use every day and will stay at school. Uh, on the Chromebook, they will use a variety of different programs that will support their learning in the other subjects, uh, such as Imagine Learning, Seesaw, ST Math, Smarty Ants, Raz Kids. Um, and they will learn, and those programs will help them with math, with reading. Um, and then we also are going to be teaching them some important computer skills, such as coding and then creating documents using uh, the Google apps and different things to get them to have have a strong uh, computer skills to take on to the later grades. Um, now that you've kind of gotten a, a feel for what are the big things that your child will be learning, you can probably already tell that the learning expectations are pretty high. And because of this, it can be sometimes a difficult transition for children coming from preschool or even from being at home. Um, and it's totally normal for your child to not like school in the first few weeks. Um, it's hard, it's new, and it's different. And so we even know as adults, we know that change can be really hard. And that's especially true for our, our kinder students. So we just want you to keep that in mind and know that those first few weeks, it may seem like it's a little challenging. But once that they get used to the routines and the um the procedures in the classroom, and they get to know their teacher and their classmates, it will get a lot easier. So just keep that in mind as we go through the first few weeks of school. Um, now I'm going to give you a little um, preview of what our homework will be like. We won't be starting homework until around mid-September, but we wanted to give you just an idea of what homework will be like for the year for kindergarten. So the way we do homework is we will send home a log, a homework log, every week. It'll come home on Mondays and then be due every Friday. Uh, what's important to remember about the log is that when we collect it, we only want the log. We don't need to collect any of the actual work. So what you'll do is each week you will check off uh, which uh, concepts you were able to practice or which skills, and those are the ones listed um, next to the days of the week. So things like tracing, practicing their letters or numbers, counting, and then reading time with an adult. And each night or each day, you will and give your put your initials on the side to say that it was completed, and then turn it in on Friday. 
Um, each week we will write the letter of the week and then the sight words of the week so you know what things you can practice. So we will be starting this um, in mid-September and we'll, we'll give you more information as we get closer to the date, but we wanted to give you a little preview. All right, now I'm going to talk about what happens when you're absent. So um, we know that Sometimes, especially as we get into flu season, sometimes uh, your your student will be too sick to come to school or maybe you have a family emergency. So if that is the case, it's important that you first call the office to report it. So we have the phone number there for you. It's also on the Magnolia website um, and in our handbook. Um, when you are um, absent, the absence must be cleared within five days to be avoid to avoid being marked truant. And really, we just want we really need kids to be at school every day if possible. Obviously, if they're sick or if there's an emergency, we understand. But be, them being at school is so important. Not only do we get funded by students being present each day, but we do so much learning each day. It's really important that um, your student is here at school. So they don't want to miss out on all the fun we have in kindergarten. Okay, now Miss Thomas is going to tell you about some extras. Thank you.